Hello! This video demonstrates the capabilities of the OVH Cloud, a platform as a service powered by Platform.sh. A Platform as a Service, or PaaS, allows you to develop, run, and manage applications without the complexity of building and maintaining the infrastructure. For the remainder of this video, I will refer to the OVH Cloud Platform as a Service simply as the OVH Cloud. The OVH Cloud is capable of running nearly any type of web application, from static sites to WordPress or Drupal, to complex Java or microservice applications. It is GitOps driven, meaning the way you deploy your application is by using normal Git commands. The OVH Cloud supports the deployment of many backend services, including databases such as MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, or MongoDB. Search indexes such as Elasticsearch or Solar, caching services such as Redis or Memcache, and message queues such as RabbitMQ or Kafka. The OVH Cloud is also capable of executing code pipelines to build your applications using common tools like Composer, NPM, Yarn, Maven, Gradle, Pip, and any other package manager that you use. The OVH Cloud provides a staging environment for each application you launch, and you can synchronize the code and data between your production environment and your staging environment with the click of a button. There is a marketplace of over 70 applications that have been pre-configured to run on the OVH Cloud. The OVH Cloud also comes with a CLI tool to give developers full control over their applications from the command line and to make it easier to integrate with other tools such as Ansible or Jenkins. The OVH Cloud is designed to work perfectly with your existing workflows with tools such as GitHub or GitLab. In this demo, I will show you launching a WordPress app from the marketplace adding developers to the project, setting up the staging environment, setting up my local development workflow, connecting to the WordPress site with SSH, and adding new WordPress plugins using Composer. I will also show you the three files that need to be created for any project on the OVH cloud for your application to run properly. Finally, we'll add Elasticsearch as a service to the WordPress site. Websites or applications on the OVH cloud belong in projects. To start a new project, you have two choices. You can either create a blank project and import your application code using Git, or you can start with a template, in which case you have the choice of over 70 web applications that are provided for you. The templates are also a great way to learn OVH Cloud best practices for the many different technology stacks that are supported. Some examples of templates that are on offer include WordPress, Drupal and Typo3 CMSs, Magento eCommerce, PIMCore and Akineo PIMS, Node.js and Next.js, Django or Flask, Ruby on Rails, Java and Tomcat, or Quarkus, or Micronaut, and many more. I am choosing the WordPress template, which will create a MariaDB database, build the WordPress code using Composer, and configure PHP FPM using PHP 7.4. The OVH Cloud will also provision TLS certificates from Let's Encrypt, so your new site will be running securely from the first moment. Since the OVH Cloud is a platform as a service and focuses on enabling developers to be more productive, I will now focus on how to develop on this WordPress site. The first thing I will do is add another team member. Team members can be developers, admins, or just observers like a project manager or stakeholder. Adding a team member is easy and now they will be able to push code changes to Git and to develop the site. The next step is to set up the staging environment. I create the staging environment by making a new Git branch called staging. 
the OVH cloud responds by making a complete copy of the WordPress site that is isolated from the production branch. The staging site will have its own database, its own files, its own URL. I can safely test all my changes on the staging branch without affecting the production site. More staging environments are available if needed. Now let's move to local development. The heart of the local development experience is the platform command line interface tool, which I have already installed. It gives me all of the commands I need to manage this project. Note that when it comes to managing my code and deploying my code changes to the OVH cloud, I will use Git. Here I'm copying the command needed to get this project onto my laptop. Now I have the project checked out and I can see that both the platform command and git status give me information about my project. I will switch to the staging branch before I begin developing. To add new WordPress plugins or themes, I use Composer Require. Here I am adding the cache control plugin and the Neve theme. As a result, the Composer JSON and Composer Lock files have been updated. I can then use Git to add, commit, and push these changes to the OVH cloud. This will cause the staging environment to rebuild, and when it is finished, the new plugin and theme will be available. Normally, local development of a WordPress site requires that I import a database on my laptop. With OVH Cloud, that isn't needed. I can open a tunnel to the database on my staging environment and use that instead. This saves me a lot of time when setting up, eliminates problems when onboarding new developers, and allows me to switch between projects very easily. I can also SSH into my WordPress environment where I can execute normal Linux commands and use the WP CLI tool. If I do want to install the database locally, the CLI tool helps with that as well. I just need to use the platform SQL dump command, and then I have my data locally. Logs from my running application are also easy to access from the CLI. Platform Logs gives me a choice of all of the logs available and I can browse them right here. Now let's look at the three YAML files that allow any application to run properly on the OVH cloud. The files are Services YAML, Routes YAML, and Platform App YAML. If your application needs any type of backend service, you list these in Services YAML. The services available are Elasticsearch, Headless Chrome, InfluxDB, Kafka, Memcached, MongoDB, MariaDB, or MySQL, Network Storage, PostgreSQL, RabbitMQ, Redis, Solar, and Varnish. The WordPress template that we have been looking at already has MariaDB 10.4 as a service. Let's add Elasticsearch 7.7 .7 so that we can use that for site search on our WordPress site. We only need these three lines of YAML configuration for OVH Cloud to start an Elasticsearch container in our project. The next file is the Roots YAML file. This file describes how incoming URLs are handled. You can specify new endpoints, redirects, and how caching is meant to behave. The example here is specific to WordPress, with a list of cookies that are needed to enable HTTP caching. Finally, the main file that every application needs is the platform app YAML file. This file defines the runtime of the application. Here, it's PHP 7.4. The relationships to backend services, such as MariaDB or the new Elasticsearch service we just created, the Nginx web server configuration, The writable mount points, where the application can write files such as images, caches, and logs. 
dependencies and extensions that should be loaded into the runtime, and much more. Let's add the relationship to the Elasticsearch service we created. This relationship will tell the OVH cloud to provide private networking between the application container and the search container, and it will also reveal the Elasticsearch credentials to the application through environmental variables. Let's also require the ElasticPress WordPress plugin using Composer. Now let's look at what's changed. When we push the changes in these files to the OVH cloud, our staging environment will have an elastic search container with private networking and credentials in environmental variables, and it will have the WordPress plugin for Elasticsearch installed. As you can see, dramatically extending this WordPress site was very easy using the OVH cloud. That's the end of this demo. There is much more to be explored about the OVH cloud, so please refer to the documentation and feel free to ask me any questions in the Q&A session that follows. Thank you. After this product demonstration by Robert, let's see the product offering and how OVH and Platform Message have built together this nice product. In the next weeks, we will launch a new product called WebPass, and you will see it will be split in three parts. The first part is the starter offer. Starters is mainly for one user, or someone who wants to develop a few sites, and it will target freelance and small agencies. In this offer, you will get automated backups, some container restriction, but not so much, with single app and single service, no GitHub connection, but a Git integration, and 5 gigabytes of storage. Once you have tested the offer and you want to scale it, you can go to the scale offer, where you will have up to five users when you want to develop lots of sites for web agencies and small and large business. You will get automated backup, no restriction, GitHub integration, and 10 gigabytes of storage. And after that, you will get the business offer. The business offer is dedicated to team started to 10 developers for complex websites. You will get automated backup, no restriction, GitHub integration, and 10 gigabytes of storage. The customer self-care will be done through an expert forum. We want to build a community where all of you will contribute to answer yourself to your questions and to, and to get some answers by the other people in the community. The price of the project is quite simple and very attractive. We want to start from 19 euros per month for the starter offer up to 99 euros per month for the business offer. And in option of that, you will be able to add VCPUs or users depending on the offer you have chosen at the beginning, either starter, scale, and business. And for sure, you will be able to move from starter to scale, from scale to business, and if you need, at a point of time, to move back from business to scale. The value proposition of this offer is very simple. You will get, first, a fair and predictable pricing, starting at 19 euros. This means that you will be able to control all of your costs. Platform.sh in OVH will be fully integrated, meaning that once you have selected your offer and ordered your offer in the manager, you will be able to start your project with no delays. We have integrated the best-in-class tool for developers and business team to launch and maintain your website. We are guaranteeing you the scalability function of your users, your developers, the resources, the vCPU you want to add, and your geo. It will allow you to have a seamless migration to cloud, meaning that if actually you are doing your stuff on-premise, you will be able to do it in the cloud without any change in the way you're building your website today. It answers all your technological challenges with all the languages on BD on the platform.sh, and it will respect your data privacy being hosted on OVH Cloud. So now, just to let you know, we will launch 50 accounts for trial at the end of this demo session. So please register, please try it, and let us know what do you think. Thank you for your attention during this presentation. Bye.